Well, hello. How is everyone doing today? Ah. Checked my loyalty already. I am 82 loyal. I'm getting close, actually. I may actually get to the second level. So let me do my intro. I'm David. This is uh, Attention to Detail. And uh, I don't have it. <laughs> uh, but really, uh, this uh, channel where I just kind of hang out and do the projects I'd be doing anyway and hopefully share it with all of you guys. Um, I did notice <laughs> just recently that my captions while being transmitted apparently to Twitch are not being saved with my files. I thought they were so from this point forward hopefully they're going to be available on uh, YouTube by default and maybe I can even go in and edit them. Wow, fancy. Anyway, back to who I am. Yeah, this is, my name is David, this is Attention to Detail, and uh, I do my projects. And I use this channel as an outlet to kind of force me to set some time aside and actually work on those things that I enjoy doing. It's weird to say that I need an incentive to do what I enjoy, but such is life, right? Uh, you always have that feeling as though there's something else you should be doing as opposed to what you want to be doing. And this kind of allows me to cross those boundaries. What is... No, it's this side. What was that? Dot, 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 dot. Um, yeah, this just allows me to do that and uh, kind of forces me to. And... I have fun with it and I've been having fun with it for quite a while now actually um, previously my big focus was technology uh, my home lab environment and I, I still plan on getting back to that at some point it's lower on my list right now I've got another project in the works and that is the trailer build um, I've spent a couple of weeks now planning it and expect at least a couple more. Uh, number one, I broke my VPN and I haven't had the, the will to focus on fixing that. And number two, I hope to be traveling and streaming and hopefully showing everybody else what myself and, uh, my girlfriend get up to for the next well sometime after February is the plan but uh, the build is going to be a part of it as well building this trailer up and uh, I'm kind of testing new things like this microphone and and such to see what I need to be able to walk away and and still be able to interact with everybody so without further ado, we can get back into the Tinkercad monstrosity that is, at this point, uh, Reverse Jenga, Tetris, trying to see how to make things that I want fit. I actually woke up <laughs> this morning at like 6 in the morning, shot at like, eyes, punk. I forgot water. I forgot the water tank. There's there's no room in here for a water tank right now. So yeah, that's gotta come back. But I mean there is room. Let me dun, dun, dun. we want you and there. Well you know. There. So yeah, what we're looking at here. We've still got some height to work with. Um, I'm actually thinking that I'm going to lift the 
battery box first and put water underneath there because there is already a drain plug there and I may be able to just kind of put a, a barrier so that if something leaks, it just goes through the drain plug anyway. And then the intent really would be to have a fill and a unfill. <laughs> Oh, hey, Abra, let's catch it. Maybe I caught it. Let's see. I actually have this thing open this time, so. Wapow! We did not catch it. Sad day. I think I need a, I need a button that just says that I don't know, flashes a warning on the screen. Hey, I'm going to sidetrack myself into Pokemon for a second. Okay, I've still got 20 of those, so I'm fine with that. What's in the event shop? I have zero. I don't even know how to get these. How do I get pumpkins? Oh, well. I don't think it matters. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just Pokemon. <laughs> All right. So, uh, these, by the way, are the two different sides, potential sides. Cooler freezers I'm looking at. This is the dual zone. This is a single zone. There's really not that much difference between them, but a lot of it's going to come down to, you know, the weight here, whether or not I have to do any reinforcing. Stuff like that. But, oh, I need to bring my notes back. So those are the storage. Oh, I didn't keep the notes for the battery box. All right. 34 by 17 by 10. Is 34 by 17 by 10 ish. So, what I'm going to look for is probably a a water tank that's about that same size because um, I'm thinking I'm just going to put it right underneath like I said because I don't want water to leak onto the box but if bat if batteries are leaking considering they're lithium eh, there's, there's a whole another can of worms there and honestly if they go up Having water right there may not be a... Well, no. They can be doused. Lithium ion. But this is lithium iron. Documented history of reignition. I wonder actually, can I put Is this a situation where I can put one of those like fire grenades in there and if something happens? Uh Lithium. <laughs> Extinguisher is recommended. Like these, I think. That, yeah, something like this. Hot aerosol fire extinguishing device.
small fire battery fire I mean, this is basically what we need, right? We want something in there that's going to go... Oh, there's a problem? Boom! Kill everything. <laughs> I've never had a reason. As far as I can tell, there's no way to test this item. <laughs> ah... I mean, is it actually, it's, it says it's first alert. Well, okay, no, it mentions first alert. Let's, let's see if we can find anything more about this sort of thing. Do you need a special fire extinguisher? see here I mean this isn't that long ago if it's ignited immediately it'll burn like a gas leak unless it's all burnt up solution is to vent and direct okay Let's double check. Because I don't want to be like, oh yeah, we're using this. Because now I'm like, okay, it is lithium iron phosphate. Just triple check lithium iron phosphate. Okay. <laughs> there are generally no flames vent the room and keep flammables away. The only way you'll get dangerous is if there's a short and the location of the short will get hot. The main difference is chemistry unlike It's more stable, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's, that's good to know. I mean, there is, of course, the question of how much do we trust Reddit, but, you know. It's illegal to have more than one kilowatt hour. You have a 3.8 kilowatt hour. You need to store this in your garage. Twenty. This is Canada, though, and this is a fully detached dwelling. <laughs> I mean, it's under me, but you know. Building or inside a fully detached structure. UL9. Okay. Well, that's good to know. UL9740A. Let's find that battery and take a look. Products, batteries, the I said, well, do as I want, not as I say. Computers, geez. Support parallel connection. 
with self heating, blah, blah, blah. Flame restart retardant casing stops vertical burning. Oh, okay, so it's already kind of got something in it. Good. I mean, at 12 volt, 200 watt hours. I'm going to have to do it again. Watts. Is volts times amps, right? Watts equals volts times amps. Okay. So, this that would make this... A 2400 watt hour. So that would definitely be. It's two kilowatt hours, two and a half kilowatt hours ish. Uh, UL. Do, are these UL listed? Specs. the life cycle what are the advantages what is the active backup protection shelf mode okay but it doesn't seem to say anything about it how is the Renegy Learning Center support discount that's what I need um, okay I have some experiences I actually hold a certificate from uh, oh it's two year in phase as a solar panel installer which is kind of funny because I would I would not do that for somebody, but what I would do is I would support them. I would go validate, I can validate the wiring. Um, I just, I would not want to say, oh yeah, sure, I can drill holes in your roof and make sure that they're waterproof. Because it doesn't cover that. It, it entirely covers sizing of wires and the, the distance of runs and how many panels can be per circuit things like that it's it, i'm not putting holes in someone's roof <laughs> and it was realistically a five hour class like if you have some electronics knowledge it it's kind of self-explanatory ish esque you know what i mean All right, but what I'm not seeing is UL listing. So my guess is no. I mean, we're IP6, D7, and ISO. It's 
It's got a double active safety system. Wait. UL94VO. Uh, 94? Yeah. Breloom. may have caught that one let's check it see i need the uh warning warning pokemon sidetrack hey horrible <laughs> horrible horrible wow that's probably the worst one i've ever caught but at least i can trade it Sorry, water break. And back. Okay. Um, you most likely heard of your standards, but you really know what it is. Burning combustion is not sustained for more than 10 seconds after applying controlled flame. Not a flaming combustion. Total. A toy. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> yeah, it's just letting me know that I caught it. Oh, actually, that reminds me of one other thing. I always got I really need to put the effort into making it so that the bot is running in the lab so that I don't have to restart it every time, but But too bad. It's just not the case. And we have dice. Okay. Uh where was I? Oh yeah. Total flaming combustion. For five samples does not exceed 50 seconds. Note the samples burned up to the mounting clamp by either flaming or glowing combustion. Note the samples dripped flaming particles. Okay. That oh wow, that result in the ignition of surgical cotton. Samples did not exhibit glowing combustion for more than 30 seconds. Wow, actually that's pretty good. It's not, it's not 95.40, but 94 VO. Versus 95.50, 40, 95.40. UL. 9540. Neo 9540 addresses issues such as battery system safety, fire detection, and suppression. Okay, so yeah, it's it's almost definitely not gonna meet that. But the casing that's that's good information to have. Wait, so they have picture. Stuff picture. What's the difference between these pictures? Oh, it does just loop around on itself though. There's a Bluetooth, Bluetooth and self-heating. Obviously that's the one I'm looking at. I swear the last time I looked at this, it was $6.99, but what are you gonna do? 
Meanwhile, in the U.S., I have over seven kilometers in a van. <laughs> You sure seem to like living by other people's rules. How about let the person make his own threat assessment? See, this is one of those things like, okay, I understand you have a particular perspective. I mean, this person probably didn't need to come off the way that they did, but at the same time, like, cool, you have a particular perspective. Uh, maybe this person is completely off base. Maybe they're not. Maybe they actually know what they're doing. I bet if I scroll down, they're going to have something about whatever degree or history they have in installing this stuff. I think we need to get out of each other's business online. <laughs> Let's... I don't know. They're, it's fine to tell somebody they're doing it wrong. It's actually constructive to say you're doing it wrong, but maybe explain how how they're doing it wrong and why, and not just be like, I don't know, use someone licensed, or you know, we seem to have gotten to that point where the answer is always just have somebody else do it, and yeah. I mean, look at me with the, the tire thing. Jeez. Just have somebody else do the tire thing. And I don't think tires are going to be voodoo to figure out. But they seem like they're voodoo right now. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. All of this, long story short, too late. We just want to make sure that we can put water under this battery box and have it not be a big deal and went on a fun little sidetrack about potential fire issues but shouldn't be a problem we just have to focus on venting from from what i can tell i mean based on the the flame resistant case uh, the information about how those batteries fail as long as i can get it out we're okay Right? So let's pull the box out. And uh, right now, if we go to the budgets underwater, this is the tank that I'm looking at. And I went with a cube to start with, but that's Actually, not terrible. It's not quite long enough, but that's not a bad thing. It is nine inches tall. So if I go back to here and I just raise this up. And again, I'm doing the approximation thing, so it's going to be 0 0.9, even though <laughs> it's less than that. Yeah, see, that's not terrible. And then I'll have the freezer right here, basically. Which will make the, uh, the connections pretty easy. But that's assuming it's just sitting on top. That's no space in between. Well, that's maybe a little bit of space. Because like I said, my estimates are slightly off. Actually, I'm wondering. Like, okay. So all I did... Well, this these ones... It's actually less of a big deal because I'm not using feet anywhere. Since I'm not converting to feet, 
dividing by 10 is not a problem. I don't have to worry about the, the 12 portion of it, right? Mm. I don't know, estimates, close enough, all right. So let's get back to the notes. I'm 34 by 17 by 10. So this water tank that I'm looking at is, where'd it go? I was just looking at it, oh, 19. It's, yeah. So on the 17 side, this is 14 and 19. This is a 10 gallon, which 10 gallons is heavy. That's the one thing I, I was worried about, which I kind of honestly wanted to move. I wanted to make sure that the heaviest parts were here. And that's going to be the battery in the water. Well, let's move this box out of the way real quick. And we're going to throw in this to be water. And what was it? So 19, oh yeah, not including fittings. That is important. Is this, fitting is closed and watertight. To use, remove, mem okay, so you have to cut your own hole. Okay, so there's two of those. Non-pressurized. Do not hook garden hose directly to a tank. Tank will explode. <laughs> what? Let's see. What's that saying about uh, many either die or laugh about the things that would have killed them? <laughs> oh, yeah. This one is, where'd those sizes go? This one is 19 by nine by 14. Okay, so this trade's a little bit of height. I would actually rather it be like six inches. Just because I wanna make sure I, since it's water and it's going to have something heavy over the top of it, I want to make sure that it's got like a framework that goes around it that kind of keeps it from getting crushed, right? Okay. 
Okay, I like this, but I don't like 50 gallons. That's crazy talk. I've thought about one of these two, where instead you just put it up with the uh, a wild unidentified ghost. Squirrel! We're going to catch with an Ultra Ball. And let's see what we got. Anything good? Anything? A slow bro. Average. Nothing wonderful. Okay. Cool. Did that give me a pumpkin though? I have zero pumpkin. Yeah, not sure how I'm supposed to get pumpkins. Can I sell them for a pumpkin? No. Yeah, whatever. These things are hella expensive though. Is it, is it I mean, that's eight gallons. Is it just because it comes with the mount? I like the idea of just letting gravity take care of it, right? Like that's that's just better. But that's kind of funny. Um My, my problem with this one, with these setups, and I, like I said, considering it, but if I were to, if I were to do this, I would probably go with like a really small one. Oh, this one's pressurized, um, but have the ability, like maybe a, a four gallon or yeah, four gallon and actually push water into it. So that I could have water that's inside the trailer that's not heated by being out and black, right? I mean, here's an eight gallon that can be pressurized. Recommended uses. Sprinkler. Water tank for overlanding. Recommended uses. <laughs> uh, the, there's just... I mean, these are probably... It, well, these are more expensive because they are... They have to be at least somewhat pressure rated, whereas that other one says, nope. We're putting a pump in here and that's it. Because like the, the biggest, the biggest power expense would be heating. I mean, basically everything, everything electronic is a what was it I read? It's a perfect heater. Because everything that you're doing with electronics comes out as either heat or light. And that's it. Um, there's zero there's zero energy expended on the actual flipping of bits or computation. It, nothing that you're doing with electronics takes any energy. It's not even any appreciable energy. It's just any energy. Everything that goes in is expressed as heat or light. It took me a second to kind of wrap my mind around that because it feels like you're getting computation for free. Which is weird.
So. Portable diesel tank, perfect. I thought about one of these two, but there really isn't a reason for it that I can see yet. It might kind of make sense, uh, go back here. If I can get one that basically fits at the same level as the uh, axle. Um, but like to have it make be used, you have to like mount a toilet up here, <laughs> right? Gravity's got to do what gravity's going to do. And it's not going to do it from down here. Either that or you're lifting to... Yeah, you're doing the work. Hand pumping, I guess, is the the term. Anyway, uh, water. We're, we're talking about water. <laughs> right, water, 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 water. Now, I wonder... So, Class A Customs, I wonder if I can just go to them directly. I'm sure that they... have their address there for a reason, right? Complete list of water tanks. Is there an NS NSF? Can I get? Can you add? See why. Tanks continue to be made from the same NSF certified materials, built in the same way, built on the same machines, blah, 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 blah. The NSF company does not allow for end users of NSF certified materials to use their logo unless each kind of item that is produced has a certification paid for each year. This would mean every style of tank, even though they're made using the same. No. Okay. I'm just looking for the tanks. Spring van tanks. Okay, no, those are all assuming that I'm already working with a sprinter van. Why, why does all of their... I've got a water tank list. Oh, here we go. Try this. This isn't water tank list. Water tank list. Fresh and gray tanks are at the top of the list. Oh, okay. Here we go. Plus or minus. All right, we're looking for uh, where's our stupid notes? Oh, notes 34 by 17, if at all possible. Thirty-four by nine by 16. So wait, that's... I mean, I could just not fill it all the way. 34 by 9 by 16. For seventy dollars. Granted, that does not include the pump and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'd be back here to try and find just this pump. Mm. 
you'd think the pump would be under related items, right? Although they realistically, I can probably look at this or save this and go back over here. Um, not a fuel pump. Electrical items? No. Tires and accessories? No. Water pumps. So they want a hundred dollars. That's wait, but that's a one fifteen. I need a twelve volt. I guess I could look at. Let's see. So this is a and twelve volt fresh water pump. This is T one thousand. What are you? T2100. I still would rather, you know what? Let's keep looking. I mean, it looks like this is sorted by this, however, which is a problem. myself so I'm gonna take this we're gonna shift back over here not to there we're gonna be here This one was, what, 178? I don't have you as only 10 pounds. <laughs> that's not correct. Um, I bet that's 10 pounds. Well, that's not, I bet. I know that that's 10 pounds empty. Yeah, this is 18. So that's going to be 18 pounds plus, let's say I'm dumb enough to fill the entire thing up. Um, a, a pint's a pound, pint's a pound of the world around, so a gallon has what, is it eight pints? Eight. So that would be... Eight pounds per gallon, eight times 21 is 168 pounds. Hundred and sixty-eight pounds. So if I go back here and I then add 18, it's a hundred and eighty six pounds. Let's get rid of that X and let's look here. Oh, 
overall weight. Right, that's getting us real close, but that's only if I actually fill the thing all the way up. But the question is, do I put a warning on there saying, hey, don't fill this up all the way? <laughs> or only fill it up all the way for short? Is it just a bad idea to say? Yeah, you've got 21 pounds or 21 gallons, but say. Adding some other fluids <laughs> rather than just water. I know, water's the best. Okay. Um, speaking of water. So let's look at it. A 10 gallon is 80 plus 10. So that actually becomes 90. Strangely, but it's almost exactly half. <laughs> ah, that puts us at 536. I'm kind of more comfortable with that, where, like, okay, I fill the thing up, um, and then I can make a decision later on, do I want to have one of these weirdo things hanging off the side? I do, kind of, and since it's pumpable, I could throw that up there. Like, this one's a, a four gallon. Let's just grab it so that we have it. And I really, really should be doing this the right way. Get a link. Do it this way because that at least comes back to me, right? Uh, this would be not hot, warm water tank. And yeah, what's the price on that thing? 229 and it is four gallons so 32 what's it weigh on its own guess in there so if if this one with the pump is 10 this one doesn't have a pump but it's probably thicker plastic but it does have all those hoses and stuff so let's give it eight so if we include that guy five forty four But it is firmly in the maybe camp, so. Dun, 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 dun. Take you back out. Wait a second. Okay. I was like, what? Is and it wasn't sure that I saw that number change. What are you going to do? All right. So back over here. Um. We're, I think we're sticking with the the smaller one. Wait, 
Where did it go? Fine. But it lets me do this. Get a link. No, really. Get a link. And actually, I should make sure. Uh, water tank. You know, in case anyone wants to follow along. Uh, and have the warm water tank as well. This is just for my show notes later. <laughs> I don't want to go back and do it. All right. And this still definitely seems interesting to me, but I'm kind of leaning towards the UL listings being not terrible. Uh, but anyway, we were 19914. So, 19, uh, no, <laughs> uh, one point nine, one point four, You know, I could actually, could I fit uh, just enough to where I probably couldn't fit to. So close, but yeah, it's sticking out on both sides. Which means I could flex it in there if I really wanted to. Um, but let's be real here. This guy is going to basically be sitting right there. And then I'm going to have tubing going this way and tubing going this way. figure out how to I've, I've never set up one of these tanks so I'll probably have to figure out how to properly vent it and all that sort of stuff because if I'm trying to pour water in this direction I have to have let air out to get water in but I don't want to let crap in Actually, that works out because I can build vent on the bottom so that it'll vent through the water pipes should something happen, right? And 
hopefully vent those hot gases into the water, basically. But... I'm just going to make that quite tall. Oh, I need to turn my snapping off. Okay. Well, that's a little bit more. I'm also thinking that I, I'm not looking vertically enough. gives me a whole lot more space and it's also like a lot of this stuff is practically a guarantee that it has to come out right and that that actually gives me some long space for the table uh, which I don't really have dimensions for it also allows this, I can maybe build something up so that it's semi-enclosed. Um, the hope being that there's no sunlight getting in there, hopefully, so it's a little bit cooler than anything that I put out here for warm water. But okay, um, I'm going to... Well, what do I do with this? Nothing. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Apparently my camera equipment is going through the bottom. Which means it's now going through this. There's got to be a setting where you can just make it so that, hey, if anything intersects, push it back. All right, now we're looking at, or we're back to looking at, the entire reason that this whole thing even started. Wow, my wheels are way off, aren't they? Um, how am I going to put the tent on? I'm like, I can go long, right? I can go all the way out here with the mounts. I would, like I said, prefer to keep stuff off of this area. It would also mean that when it's down, I couldn't set this parking brake, which could be an issue. I mean, the parking brake is gonna be kind of one of my security measures where, you know, realistically climb underneath cut the wires parking brake is disengaged but if the lever's there and it's got a lock on it that's just one more tool a person has to have to steal <laughs> and like i said there's going to be some things that i put on here that are that I'm not going to talk about. That'll be security related. Just because I do plan on putting this on the internet. Alright. Anyway. 
now I need to remake that mount. Do I keep making it in this? Oop, hold on. I did not catch. Or do I try and make, build that up separately? Let's do it. I'm gonna be on here. There. Oops. Zero point two by zero point. Oops. Zero point two. That's not what I wanted. But it'll do. Just made a link to the site. Cool. All right, so I have to build a I did calculate out the weight at least something. Is it in here? Nope. figure about 190 bucks for it and about 90 pounds. Let's just do another sheet. You're going to be a rack bomb. That sounds dumb. <laughs> when you say it like that, did have a along with my water premonition yesterday actually let me save this uh, boom boom go back here create 3d design and actually it's probably not a bad idea for me to do this this way 
so you need to be what am I at? I'm at millimeters I need to change to inches Two inch by two inch, and we'll pop you up to say three inches of length. And if we do uh, fourteen gauge. Steel thickness in inches. It's weird that that number just came up again. So that's two millimeter instead of twenty millimeter. So 0 0.08, let's, let's go with 0 0.083. Uh, where'd we go? All right. So basically you're this number minus 0 0.083. So that makes you 1.917 by 1.917 and a hole and center please. And group. So that's basically what we're looking at for our square tubing. Drop you back down a little bit. So here's kind of what I was thinking. Um, let's start here. Yeah, this probably work. Dumb, I still need to rotate you. Yeah. But in none of the ways that that is currently facing. There we go. Same deal. I want to center you. Oh, I need to put working plane back down here and you're one inch right so I need you to go 0 0.5 this way before in eight minutes. Okay. And then we're an eighth inch up. Right now I'm just cutting the hole though. So if we take this guy. Copy pasta. We can't do the same thing. This should be zero. I mean, realistically, I guess we only need this on the shearing side. And I probably shouldn't cut the holes with cylinders as dumb as that is because that's not how holes get cut
All right, so again, oops. We need to center you here. Lift you up about an eighth. Let's, let's do a quarter. Now it really doesn't matter how deep it is anymore. I don't have to worry about finding the center. We'll cut the same hole on the other side. Oh, there is a... Oh, there was a... There's a mirror function that goes in a circle, but... I don't want to take the time to look for it right now. Alright, so you and you... And you... Actually, let's let's do this right. You, you, and you. We will group you, and then all of you guys. We need centered there, and we group you. All right, nothing fancy yet. And then basically all I want to do is boom, 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 and a zoom, zoom. No, no, no. Uh, Three quarter. Let's see. What's it look like when it's centered? I really didn't center. centered that way <laughs> which is fine so basically like that but all the way around the idea being that I could then do this which becomes instead of two 1.5 size of the rollers. How much distance is there in there? I wonder if they make this already. I bet someone makes this. Um... Sliding gate, slide inside. What spacing is best? I mean, that's good to know, right?
A square tube inside of square tube. I've taken the weld nipple out of the inside of square tubing. Catch that sloking. This is what receiver tubes are made from instead of being folded and welded, it's drawn over a mandrel. Does it have to be square? A and B tier Pokemon might be under costumes now. Oh, so that's probably the, the unknown ghost, maybe? at the end of each tube. That's actually kind of interesting. I mean, it is always going to be kind of leaned in. Well, I shouldn't say always. <laughs> that's funny because that's one of the ones. That explains that why the picture is right there. Yeah. Um, it's funny, I, I do this and I'm worried that I'm covering up the mic still, because I'm used to having it right here. And the square tubing... Bearing or roller? Linear bearing, is that what it's called? That's $200 might be excessive. Oh, but I see what they did. Interesting. So if you look at that, what they've probably done is they've drilled all the way through and then probably polished the uh, the holes on all four of these that go all the way around, right? And then they created a larger hole and they dropped a bearing in that is slightly larger than the hole that they drilled all the way through. And then they back it with these little screws so you can adjust it in and out. There's probably a spring right behind the screw giving it a little bit of tension. So the ball will just roll along. 
I mean, I don't think that, that would be that difficult to do. So that's, but that's a 1D, one inch ID. If I go back over here to Bay Metals, this is tubing, but is it DOM tubing? It doesn't say. What was the, there was another company I was looking at where I can get it all cut to, cut to spec. Did I include them here? It does not appear as though I did. Okay. It's probably, it's like metal co. Thing. Speedy, was it Metal Depot? Could be. Menards and more. think I need two inch. I think it's online metals. I'm pretty sure it's online metals. Yeah, because they do custom cut. So if I do steal thickness of seventy dollars for one foot holy smackaroons Dear Lord, that's a lot. Oh, hey. <laughs> what do you know? My card's still here. I think I already have it. Yeah, two foot by, and this is, or two inches. No, 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 two inch. So this is 24 foot by 24 foot. So this is me cutting it myself for 189. And 
and there's a downside here in that this is just the rack portion or this is just the the support portion and that's where I get back to like this one of these guys like it's not adjustable It says it's adjustable, but it's it's adjustable for installation. It's not adjustable post installation. <laughs> I wonder. Uh, telescoping truck bed rack. Okay, this is adjustable height. Seventeen to twenty nine inches. But ba -ba -ba. max load is eight hundred, okay. to 29 in height. Yeah, see, it's, it's adjusted by screws there. Where's that screw? Where's that? Is that just dunk, push? So that's a hard maybe. I mean, is this a thing where it's hard to find because it's just too expensive to make or is it hard to find because it's a stupid idea why is it hard to find in this pre-made fifteen millimeter width and four millimeter height system so then why wouldn't, why wouldn't you just do compatible with trail system Let's see what these one star reviews. That gross. Did we catch the Metagross? Let's see.
Hey -ya. Yes, we did. Fantastical. Otherwise, not awesome. <laughs> Sell it. Base does not work. The bolts don't stay tight. I've had a few break. Complete garbage. Okay. I mean, TK Malto. This looks like it's a knockoff of one that I've seen. I don't need a tire rack. Or tire. <laughs> I don't need a ladder rack. Maybe this is a thing that I need to put out into the world and ask. Like, why? Why is this not a thing? Is it really working with certain types of covers? Be soft, hard, blah, blah, blah. Telescoping design is adjustable, but is it actually? simpler is this than what I'm considering that's kind of the question like you see those two screws and then you see two screw holes there that says hey that's those are the two positions that this is adjustable to Let's look at the instructions. I would bet it says something along the lines of do not adjust Be conscious, all loads do not use for anything other than do not. Okay. All right, it doesn't really say. I mean, it's $800 though. That's kind of a lot. GMC accessories. Oh, this is the same thing. <laughs> Discount ramps. Scoping, uh, maybe I 
Maybe there's something here. See, I could go with something like this. This is one of the things I'm kind of considering, or what started this entire sidetrack. Is I don't have these crossbars in mind. And generally they're kind of specific, right? Like they, it's kind of important that they line up. So even if I put the effort into making it so that my other idea happens, which, where did that one go? Yeah, here. So this is going to give me a quarter, quarter of an inch to potentially slide inside of each other. Should I go with a half inch? Because it's it's got to be on all sides so like in this case what I'm actually getting is half I'm getting an eighth of an inch well actually um, we did see something that said what was I I was looking for maybe it was here there we go a chart of what fits into another Quarter square 11 to fit inside. One inch square 11, which I have plenty of. Won't work because it's too tight because the inside weld on the tubing and the application is too long to try. That's actually not as huge of a problem for me, but I'm, I'm far more worried about reducing friction by going over that uh, ball joint of the material with the flashing removed. And we're using a chain to pull through the tube. Okay. I actually have a few three-quarter tool boats. That tool bit lodged in there better than an Alabama duck. <laughs> so on to plan B, go to the local steel yard and see if I can order. Oh, well, I see what they're doing there. That's crazy. Uh. All right, so what's the distance that they're, they're saying uh, three. Yeah, see, that's, that's the situation that I'll be running into momentarily with this one. Although it does say that it's rolled. Does that mean that it's not welded? I 
Hot rolled is made from cold formed and seamlessly. So it does say seamlessly. But the question is still, do I want to go one size down? Let's look at other available sizes. So we want two inch. Oh wait, two inches are main. Let's go back to the cart. So we're looking at 1.75. What if we instead did 1.5? by 12. I mean, that's a half inch, right? And this is for 12 inch, one foot. This is 24 inches that I've got here. It's not as though I'm going to return anything. I could use the extra on other parts though like holding up the battery box. I mean, that's, that's not a huge difference. 12 items include free electronic. Huh. Cool. I mean, I'm not having them cut it. Should I though? Well, no, because I've I've got I've got plans for that. All right, we need to save this, and I need to. Boom. One second.
Whee! All right. Wait a second, what was that? Oh. Huh. When did that happen? Sorry, I'm looking at uh, OBS and everything except for my mic got switched out to stereo. <laughs> Dang it, I missed a grand bull. Oh well. All right, so I think for this, I've got to make sure that I put this in here. And I'm going to have to get the address for the warehouse where I'm going to be doing this work so that I can get that delivered there. And I'm probably going to have to buy a saw blade. <laughs> so here's kind of what I'm thinking. Let me hop back over here. So now we can... We can get rid of this. This, we're going to have two op. Yeah, we're, we're doing the one and a half. Um, let's break you back out completely. Since we're doing the one and a half, and I'm... Realistically, I'm only going to have three sides to do this on, right? Because this side's going to be attached. I've got to figure out the how on that. Do I do like a U joint and bolt? I mean, normally you just drill through, right? And then bolt straight across. But I'm not really going to be able to do that. But my hope is that I'll be drilling. Let's set you aside for now. I'll basically be drilling a hole through and it's it's not going to be a one inch well let's see it's a two inch hole what's a uh, one inch ball bearing It's a roller ball. Heavy duty weld on. Something like that would be awesome. So I wonder, there's got to be something that says, okay, how much do these actually stick out, right? Because, like, this is too tall, I think. Let's look. Let's look at this. It says one inch. Where's the actual, there we go. So it's a 30 millimeter. That's more than an inch. One point one eight. And I'm looking at Uh, 
0.12 inch. So that's going to have to stick at least an inch. I'm going to need... I'm going to need one inch of washer, basically. Can I buy a one inch washer? <laughs> OD, one inch thick. Yeah, I think that's that just says to me this is the wrong application. I need something lower profile. <laughs> Maybe I need that. Low profile. Basically, right? But that looks like a squished picture of this. I guess I could just do... Like, alright, maybe I have to cut more holes, right? Ten pieces, mini ball transfer bearing. So those stick out about half an inch, but they're in plastic. That seems problematic. Performs well. Let's let's take a look. So that one looks interesting to me. I mean, there's no real reason it has to be a steel ball. It could be a nylon ball. The only thing I'd worry about with that, though, is that if the friction grabbed it and just rope went anyway, it's just going to round that thing over. But it's probably going to happen with steel anyway, right? I mean, I'm, right now I'm looking at carbon steel on carbon steel. And when you put the uh, the metal charts together, if they're the same squishiness, one inch steel ball, round flange. eighths of an inch oh what's that oh it's two and a quarter inch all the way around though so that's gonna stick out on the edges new problem <laughs> Need something smaller. What's the height on these? Still looking at a half inch on either side, so that means 
basically that I would need an inch. So I would be, I'd be jumping up to three inch tubing on the bottom. So let's look at that. So if I go three inch, same deal. I don't think I need I mean I probably need a foot. So if I did this and I said four, now how do those things stay in? Let's move this over so it's easier to keep track of. None of these are what I was looking for. What happened? There we go. So these ones look like they're basically friction fit. Main ball can be made of mount, steel or stainless. And the housing can be either steel or stainless. And a few thumb screw brakes are offered. Hmm. Usually ships in one to two weeks. I mean, I would need nine. I probably want at least three per post, right? Did we catch a metatype? One way to find out. What's with all the metas? Uh, nope. <laughs> Alright, let's keep... Uh, we're getting closer to the size that we're looking for, though. Uh, 525 load height. Is there actually... What if I do a one inch? Five eighths load height. See, something like this, I could just make the hole like slightly less. But I still need to bolt that to something somehow. I need steel housing. It's got a 5 8 inch profile. What is the load? Oh, I think I already looked at this one. Yeah, it's five eight inch, five eighths of an inch. Although, if I were to just 
put the hole here. I'm basically looking at half that. And then I can create a little chunk of metal that sticks out with uh, a welded on bolt. But it's still, that's the two and a half, two and a quarter diameter. Yeah. Nope, that's the too big of one. We already looked at that one. One inch stainless steel, $70. Not for my purposes. Fifty dollars. Dear Lord, that's a lot of money. It's seeming more and more like if I just get the ball. Because, like, the back and forth isn't going to be super often, super calm. Well, depends. It could basically be daily twice a day. Once up, once down, right? So let's see. Well, there is the other side of it. If I do an internal roller bearing, I mean, kind of like that, but not like that even a little bit. <laughs> uh, I need a... Telescoping roller bearing? Gee, bus. I mean, that looks perfect, but no. <laughs> yeah, there's always linear guides. Those get expensive, too. search for what I mean that's basically perfect but that better be a set of like a hundred No cookies. Reject all. With stand load fifty five newtons. see you and I'm very glad that they did this because that tells me I can just do this I still wonder about these I mean it it would not be the easiest thing in the world to do.
but at least with this idea, I can kind of make it adjustable, maybe. You know what? Before I go trying to solve a problem, I don't even know it's going to be a problem. Maybe, and stick with me here, I find out if it's going to be a problem first. I think I've got time to figure it out. What do you think? So yeah. The only thing, the only concern I have is the size of the steel that I'm looking at. And I think already, oh, that's funny. I didn't even realize I was, I'm looking at, I looked at this low profile setup and I installed a set of uh, running boards on my cousin's car from this company. That's, that's entertaining. Let's go, no, we can go this way. Fun. Okay, so meanwhile, back at the place that we were looking. So basically, I'm going to have two sizes to see what's going to work. I'm going to have two feet of it. Well, I'm going to have eight feet. I don't know that I need as much of this one. But okay. Holy cow. For the uh, delivery driver, I'm, I'm going to apologize in advance. I'm still going to do a little bit of shopping around. I'm not going to do that here, but I'm going to figure out like what I need to do in this regard. And I'm also going to contact my, my friend and see if I can just get this delivered direct. It is ridiculous getting that delivered for $25. I mean, the tax is the same as delivery. That's that's just madness. But anyway. Yeah. I don't need... I have at least two weeks before I need to even consider a decision on that. Which reminds me. I was going to check something real quick. I have been waiting patiently to see... If my Starling's going to get shipped. Because I want to try that out. That's going to be important. Should I... Hey, it is shipped. Let's see. Let's see what FedEx says. Yeah. They don't have it yet. They'll add a delivery date as soon as they receive it. <laughs> but it's shipped now. That's cool. Um, but yeah, my hope. I want to make sure that I have Starlink because I want to try streaming via Starlink when I'm doing this stuff. Um, specifically, I'm interested to see if welding messes with it. I know that it can throw off some... Uh, a rather crazy amount of electrons into the air. Um, also, just, you know, in general, how does it work at the location I'd be doing this work? How does it work in general? 
I've heard that it's not awesome for streaming, but you know, if I can use it to at least have a little bit of a conversation, maybe show some of the work while I'm doing it, even if it's even if it's kind of a slideshow, yeah. I'll also be capturing it with the, the GoPro, probably have uh, another wonk. Does this work? Yeah, there we go. That's funny because when I did this, let's see if it does it again. Boink. I'm holding nothing. <laughs> Magic. And then suddenly it appears. <laughs> ah, that's fun. You can do magic with with basically AI filters nowadays. All right. So, now that we've finished that conversation, let's go back. We're not going to do this because if I do it, I'm doing it in situ. Well, Actually, that's not true. I do still need, and I think I have them listed here, under tent, stabilizer, no. Uh, what size? Detent pin. I want that, but I want something like big. <laughs> Ball locking pin. So it needs to be at least two inches long. It's little. Did we catch a flittle? Want, 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 Pokemon sidetrack. Yeah, we did. It's horribly average, while still fantastic at the same time. Fantastical. Thirty-one, so no, I need a larger size. I need at least two inches. Not three. Well, no, 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 because it should be two inch square. So I need a, let's just do that. Hardware pins. Can I just go to hardware pins? Yeah. Material pin type, diameter, length. How is the, oh. I need the high end of that. Actually, I, I wouldn't mind the, these would be better. Hard to find faster. Maybe not that one. Quarter inch by two inch. So I actually I need slightly, more. if I'm doing one of those, I need slightly more than two inch. Two and three quarter, three quarter. Maybe, maybe slightly less than that, if that's an option. Because I like the idea of a detent, but at the same time, something that holds itself in that way, probably gooder. Although something like this isn't a terrible idea either. All 
right, now we're gonna go with this guy. Round loop. It's not zinc, it's zinc coated, right? <laughs> I don't know, the color is zinc. Okay. What are you made of? Full marine grade 316 steel. Whereas this does not say that. Why is a four pack $15, but this single one? Oh, okay. Those are under my two inch requirement though. Number of pieces, three. Oh, is this a, it's a three pack. Oh, um, okay. So that's just enough to where I have to order two of them. <laughs> Jerks. Um, oh, hit a link. We're doing it this way. Gotta remember. Boom, 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 rack bomb, pile. We're not including weight or anything in that yet. It will become important, but not immediately. All right, so. Right now I have this. I have four pieces of this that are 12 inches long. And actually, it reminds me, let me look at the... Where did my... There it is. Right, these are no, these are twenty four. I don't remember in my notes, I may have to go back and check like how much actual transition I needed. It wasn't much, I think it was like ten inches. Which, you know, kind of makes you wonder. Is is it really needed if it's just that little bit of an amount? But okay, and then these guys twenty four inches. If I change this to, let's say, uh, 10 feet would be 120. Okay. It's not going to let me work in that. In that amount of space. So let's, let's stay in the smaller realm. We'll keep everything else the same, but we'll just make this say... What? Five? Five inches. All right, and we'll just <sighs> fine, 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 fine. Point two. Point two. Point five. No, if we're doing it that way, you're going to be. Uh, 1.2. Yep. 
get over here. All right, and now this guy is going to be 0.15 by 0.15 with the intent that you pop right inside of there. And actually, let's get you back out. Um, what was the hole size on this guy? It was point. Point zero eight. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Boonk. So we need to take this and pasta it. Let's get you in the center here. And you need to be reduced by 0 0.08. So that puts you at 0 0.07 by 0 0.07 Okay, now that does make sense because course it's just bigger but that wall thickness is not the same <laughs> uh, okay okay let's get rid of this little side quest we've already got something decided here so we'll get rid of that side quest all right it's point one two so it's 0 0.012, not 0 0.8 anymore. So you are uh, 0 0.8. Zero point one four three eight and zero point one three eight. Oh, wait, you need to become a hole, and I need to attach you to that. And first we need to center and center and join. All right, and we have to break this one back up because we're using different materials. It's not 0.92 anymore. It is, if it was two inches, It is 0 0.198. No. Zero point one eight eight. Yeah. Zero point one eight eight. All right. And then we have to do the same thing. You and you need to be censored. Before you joined and then you and you center you wow there's one thing that uh you notice when you're working with really tall things 
that it always goes from the center of the build plate instead of the center of wherever you click or your ab object or whatever, right? Which is easy, just move the center. Like it's, it's not that hard, but then, then do this. Now, where's center? Oh, and then you're over here. Ah, where's center? I'll show you. Center. Move to center. Who you think you are. All right. So after doing a whole lot of just looking stuff up, as usual, in the last 20 minutes, we're going to look some more stuff up. And take note of it this time. Um, and 100 trailer manual. Because we want to get that sweet, sweet measurement. Forty two inches. All right. Back up here. Actually, I think I have all of that. I think I have it here, don't I? Nope. Of course not. Come on now. Who do you think you is? Where was I? Here. Okay. So the trailer height, 42 inches. Um, Bronco height. Overall length, height. 73.9 inches because of course a skitty like skitties one more great ball dang it I'm currently 86 loyal. See, I'm going to start just using Ultra Balls because I want to get those last 14. <laughs> Am I in the trading realm yet? Let's see. You were garbage, right? Yeah. 14 minutes. So now, if we go back over to this, let's put our little comparison blocks in here. This is going to be 4.2. Okay. Okay. Point four two. No, I've got to do it this way. Or instead, I just do it math way. No, I don't want to do math way. <laughs> I want to be able to see it. Four point two. Okay. You are seventy nine point nine. Holy sh mackerels. Oh, wait. Anyone else see what I did? Seven point nine nine. There we go. All right. So there's our difference. 
which means, oops. you thereabouts uh, actually though no you're gonna be like maybe not off maybe just that all right so now this guy will always be right about there, which is roughly 19 inches. Let's do, let's just make you 20 inches. Let's just make you 20 inches. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So, if you are let's make you forty inches. Then I'm basically I'm going to have another two inch on top and then it's like 10 inches the trailer or the, the tent so now when this goes all the way down the farthest oh I've still got plenty of room so let's put you back at zero say I drop you down by no minus two all right that's too far So 15 inches, one foot above. I think we'll be ride height. That gets it quite a bit behind the car and under it. And then I just have to figure out so right now that's 40 inches, which if you're paying attention, the part that I'm looking to order is 24 inches. So mm, let's revisit that, shall we? Uh, a 60 inch ride height might be excessive. that might be too much thank you for
maybe 4.5. Oh, it was taking off the bottom. Let's put you back at 4 <laughs> or at 5. Yeah, I think 5 and then no. And then I can go down by minus two. Yep. All right, so that tells me that at least the internal ones need to be 50 inches long, which drastically changes this. Eight inches. So I've got to know in advance. So this is going to be a second. I'm going to have to do two orders on this. Because the only way for this to make, for me to spend this extra hundred crappy I'm gonna have to pay extra on shipping but I need to know if I'm doing the one and a half or the ones I think I'm just doing the one and a half right right taking the these guys and removing that well this price is shooting up <laughs> like Kurt Cobain Yeah, shipping just went through the roof, too. That was my biggest issue. I'm sure that there's some place local that I can find box tubing. I mean, it is a good... They're not lying. That is an awesome rate for what they're sending. But there's also... There is also getting it back, right? All right. So here's what has to happen. Um, I've got to do some research into where I can get this stuff, preferably cheaper. Like I said, there's gotta be somewhere nearby I would bet that my buddy knows someone Ooh. <laughs> squirrel um, I would bet that he knows somebody that has access to this um, to this sort of stuff if not I think I know of a few other people that might But yeah, I think that's that's where I'm going to leave it for today, though. Um, I don't think there's much more I can do on this. I think we've got our numbers, um, but although let's put that in there. So our uh, two inch box section. We're right. Twelve inch. And even that, that might be excessive. I may 
honestly, just by nature of, uh, just thinking of like weight savings, I may chop that into two, maybe two inch sections. I mean, that's, that's a lot for something to slide through, right? And if you just have a bottom one, I don't think, I don't know that I need the full 12 inch. Um, but the 1.5 inch needs to be 48 to 50 inches. Actually, and the one the one point seven five would need to be able to span between two of them, right? So what's the length? Oh yeah, we have the internal dimensions. Um Shipping volume type boom, boom, boom. length center line of eyes height height inside is eighteen oh I forgot it's over here uh, length inside so seventy two inches. So that 1.75, what is, what's the minimum width on the tent that we're looking at? Oop, oop, okay, on. And we're gonna do great ball again. Did we add to the loyalty chest. Yes, we did. Fantastical. I can get a trade out of the way since we're here. Yeah, well, I'll do it at the end. I'll do it on that day. Uh, tent, let's look at. Let's look at you. Fits. Let's see what this adapter looks like. Oh, wow. That's quite the adapter. thought at one point it said like what's the maximum distance between them right I seem to remember reading that do not use dual tents with any type of dual clamp style as the highest static weight may cause damage to your car's roof adapter are we talking about here oh, okay there we go so the minimum is 33 inches it doesn't look like it has okay so it's just a width they're they're only really worried about width Dual square bar Evo. If 
for three people, 33 inches of space. Okay. I feel like once I get this thing, no matter what, I'm going to have to figure out my own adapter. It says square bar, which honestly lo just looks like square tubing with some bumps on it. Keep away from flame, blah, blah, blah. Dry it out. Use zipper. This stuff is nuts. Wait, what's that though? Soft the extra. That's how the ladder attaches. Okay. the whole thing on top of your car <laughs> okay so it wants the T's to go in all right that that basically tells me that I can put it on whatever I want it does not appear to mention a distance apart oh these pictures are in it has the pictures in another language. Cool. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> For all of the companies that are trying to follow IKEA's lead, it's... Uh, it's... It's more entertaining than useful. Does that make sense? Like right here. This would... I, I would love to see a height on this. Like, I guess... I can look at this picture, for instance. That's a, a Tacoma, right? So if I look at Tacoma... Let's look at the height. 70 to 71 inches. Unless it's a new one. So about 70 inches, it says, and that gives us this picture. And it's, it is slightly under that. So say 60 something inches. So if we go back over here and we look at this, if this guy is up, the two inches that I'm thinking it's overall length actually let's do this boom 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 all the way down to ground zero So we are going to be looking at, we want it right about, we want it right about there. That's not terrible. So then if I go 
up by two inches. We can go down by two inches. That gives us a little bit underneath, probably too much underneath. So let's go up by another one inch. Nope, too much. Let's go up by, say, 0 0.5. Okay. So now we can bring this down to 4.3. So now let's update our notes here. 4.3, oops, 43 inches. Ideally, I can chop it off. I don't know how much that would save me in shipping, so there's that. Um, and there's the question of, do I want that to go straight across? One thing I am thinking, uh, it's 72 inches is the internal. What's the length of, oops, <laughs> I tried to rotate it again. So this is a four door. So let's say, So it's but basically, I've got to go the entire distance. <laughs> uh, although I don't really. Because the, the rails on this will do it. So I've just got to go width-wise. Yeah, I should be doing it that way. I shouldn't be trying to go this way. I am probably going to want to put hangers there or something where I can bolt this way because I want to put stuff, right? Everybody wants stuff. Anyway, I was saying like 20 minutes ago that I'm done. Done. Done for today. Um, what is today? Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday. So we got at least one more day of this um, before. Well, I'm skipping game day again. Sorry. Uh, Going to be driving day for me. But then uh, I'll be seeing you guys again. So for now, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for making it this far. If you're lurking on Twitch, thanks for hanging out. Uh, it's really cool for wherever you're watching this that you make me a part of your day. Uh, even if it's just a little part. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh, wait, let's do a quick shoop. Hunk. Yeah. See what we get. Oh, great. Another one of these. And average. Alrighty. Thanks for watching.